You're right, guys, it's Capcom Tom here, and welcome to episode number 23 of Looking for Legends. And it is a special today. We are going to be doing a club tour. So, we're going to go and have a look through our club, see all the players that we've managed to pull so far, go back, have a little bit of a reminisce, and obviously just have a bit of a check through our club and see what we have. We have 541 players in total, which is pretty cool. And uh, if you guys are looking to buy any coins, go and check out Basile.com. Their link will be down in the description. A fast, cheap and reliable coin service. And if you use the discount code TCAPGUN, you'll get 5% off all your purchases. So definitely worthwhile doing that. So we're going to start off by doing a silver player search. Now the reason I'm doing silver is because it always turns up some really interesting players that maybe I forgot that I managed to get. And you know, there's some really cool ones in here. I mean, look, we have Sanchez from Colorado Rapids in the MLS. He actually looks like a fantastic player. He's got four-star skills, four-star weak foot. Looks like the perfect center attack in mid, especially with that 86 pace and 80 dribbling. Very, very nice player and uh, definitely one I'm going to try out at some point. We have a Colombian called Torres. Um, we have Garrix or something like that. A right back with 75 pace in Serie A. We have Kalinos, a 79 rated or 90, no, 79 paced left back from Fluminense. Juan Carlos, and this guy looks really awesome. Marciella, uh, 89 pace left back. We also have Verdi, um, an Italian 89 pace. And all I can talk about is pace, but I do love pace, you know me. I'm an absolute pace whore, and I'll admit it, you know, pace is one of the deciding factors in this game, so if you're not going to use it, you're probably going to lose. Now, you can see here Brennett as well, another very nice looking right back, and uh, we've had a quick look through the silver players, so we will now dive into the main show. We're going to go through the gold, and then I'm going to actually go through the badges that I have in my club, just because I want to change up the badge. I don't like the badge that I'm using at the moment, so let's go and have a look at some of the gold players. What we're going to find, we find ourselves with the um, informed top rack. This isn't actually the one I pulled out of a pack. Um, because I sold the one I pulled out of a pack because I got like 38k for it or something but you can see I bought it back for 18k so I made myself 20k by going away and buying a different one shame that it's not the obviously original but you know what can you do also informed Jung you may remember me pulling this guy a couple of episodes back and uh, yeah nice little card you know it's this card but it's an informed nonetheless you got to remember that obviously this series is split up a little bit like not all of my uh, packs were done on this account I think the first 12 episodes were done on my main account so the likes of Royce who is our best pull of the series so far is not on this account because he came out of a 100k pack um, or 50k pack I can't remember but but you know that's why some of the players aren't accounted for but you know in the last 10 episodes you can see that we've managed to get ourselves a PK a Di Maria, a Hummels, we also got Sergio Biscuits there, really nice pull a couple episodes back, Mario Gertz, we got him in one of the Holiday 35k packs, which was a really nice pull, we have Dante as well from Bayern Munich, we have Mascarano, Isco, we've actually had him twice, we've had the uh, duplicate ones, but um, I've obviously sold those one on to get the uh, coins, Hamshik, we've had him twice as well, Hulk we pulled about three episodes ago, Huntlar, we, pick, we picked him up in the last episode, he was our best pull of the episode, um, and we also have a Vaden fella there, 83 rated, Dzeko, Mandzukic, David Villa, Closer, Valencia, Negredo, he came out of packs in the last episode. We have Zabaleta, Garay, Subotic, Felipe Luis, Lorente, who you all know I absolutely love after the Journey to Juventus series. He got like an absolutely ridiculous goal scoring record for me and especially when he has medium or low medium work rates as an attacker, you're just like, really? Really? How does that even work? But he does have the power header trait, I believe, and he is six foot five, so he got me a lot of headers. Now uh, we also have Benatia in there. It would have been nice to actually pull him when his second in form was out. I mean, it's out this week, isn't it? So it would have been nice to get one of them. But we did get him when he was in a regular or regular card impact. We have the Tongan Kabai, Ericsson, Julio Cesar. What else we got down here? De Gea, Benat, Bender, Cassano, Quadrado, Pizarro, Guardado. Wow, what a, what a bunch. You know, Cassano, Quadrado, Pizarro, and Quadrado. Gu oh, I've messed it up. Let's try one more time. Cassano, Quadrado, Pizarro, and Guardado. A really nice, interesting foursome there. Nkulu, Landro, Begovic. Um, we've got Milner, Luis Gustavo, we're moving into the sort of more common players, you know, got Sandro there, De Sanctis, Gaitan, Theo Walcott, he was nice, Paul Lamella as well, uh, we have Gail Clichy there, he's a great player, really nice player to get out of a pack, definitely, um, one that I was happy to get in a, a couple episodes back, I think I got him. We have Kabul, one of the most overpowered uh, centre-backs on the game. Uh, Schurler as well, he he was a great pull. I mean, he's only 80 rated, but he goes for around the 10 to 12k mark. So it's a really, really nice pull to get him, uh, especially when he's so lately rated. I haven't pulled him before, so it was the first for me. 
Uh, you can see there Giggs, Naldo, Benteke, Cohen Trau. We got Arto Moreas right there. Um, Pedro Leon, Pogba. Um, let's keep going. We've got Kyle Walker there, another very overpowered um, wing back in the BPL. Welbeck, Smalling, Armero there. He was a good pull. Pepe. Uh, we have Mykon. Got him like the week after he was in form, which was kind of frustrating to see because you always want to get the player while they're in form. Lukaku had plenty of him. I think I've had, we've had him about three times. Herman, the very fast German. Osvaldo, the skiller. Well, the four-star skiller, four-star weak foot from... Uh, from Liga do Brazil and yeah that's starting to get to the point where we're not really interested in the sort of players that we've got I'll go quickly go through and have a look at some of the non res I mean we've got Thiago there, Mavuba, Yilmaz, my boy Burak, uh, Thiago as well, Crescito, Pazzini you know there's some nice players down here but um, you know not the ones that are really going to excite us so let's quickly go and have a look at the badges sort of um, search I do want to have a look at a silver badge in particular so we'll go for all badges and let's have a look we'll just scroll through them very quickly in fact we're gonna have to go back and put the item type to badge so here we go Man City, Chelsea, Inter, PSG you don't even take, keep track of the sort of you know badges that you're getting out of packs because you just get so many of them actually there's not all that many rare badges to be honest we got the Ruben Kazan badge which is absolutely beautiful probably the best badge on this game um, although I do prefer a couple of others there are some other ones that I'd much rather you know be rocking as my club emblem and uh, yeah you can just see hundreds of these non-rare ones and I was going to go for the Colo Colo badge now if you guys want me to change it to something else feel free to put down in the comment section the badges that I think about are well I think about them but uh, we have the uh, Santa Fe one we have the Earthquakes one as well um, then we have Torini which is quite an interesting badge I'm just gonna make this active so we don't have to come back and do it in a second make this item active yes there we go the Colo Colo badge is now active and uh, yeah that's actually it for the badges so that's pretty cool and uh, is there anything else should we have a quick look at the consumables we'll do a quick sweep of the consumables see what we've actually got you know we've got some at all attribute be on all attribute cards there uh, we've got lots of modifiers three cam to center mids four CDM to CMs a couple of striker to CFs we've got a whole bunch of league or manager modifiers a few more uh, man or you know modifiers here center mids to cams 39 squad fitness so that's like 39k just sitting there and then look at all these chemistry styles hawks and powerhouse engine sentinel what are the uh, the better ones we have two hunter cards which is awesome they're they're pretty sought after anchor cards as well three glove cards and that's actually about it so there you go guys i hope you have enjoyed the club tour if there's anything you think i could improve on um, for the next time i do a club tour or if there's anything that you think i should be doing different with this series then feel free to put them down in the comment section obviously a like would be really appreciated subscribe if you're new to my channel go and check out the rest of the uh, looking for legend series i'll put it all in a playlist for you but on that i'm going to have to leave it there and i will see you all next time